I'm the Associate Dean of the Department of Fashion at Ravensbourne. We set out with the intention when I researched the gap in the market for this course, all the feedback from industry was that the buyers of the future hadn't ever set foot in a factory. It often takes students many, many years to actually get the opportunity to visit factories if they've not had the experience. And I've sometimes met people in industry who have been working 10 years and still can't get to that next break purely because they don't have the opportunity to visit factories. So to have the opportunity to do this at this stage during their time at university to complement their coursework is really, really fantastic. In our project on four, you talk about lead times and it's going to take this long, but then I don't think you quite realise how long it will be until you actually see it in real life because you can see all the efforts that everyone has to go through, the amount of fabric they're working with, and you kind of understand why it takes so long, so it makes more sense now. We've had some lectures on like the processing of like weft and warp, but it was it really interesting to actually see it being done and it gave me like a much better understanding of how it actually is made. But it was really cool to get got to see the whole process of how the prints actually come to life and the whole process of dyeing and washing. I didn't realise how many processes there were of screen printing and all the different colours that they can make to get the exact colour the buyer wants, which is interesting. I didn't expect it to look like this at all. Like I was saying I've never could imagine a factory looking like this. You just imagine kind of like four brick walls. We were saying it'd be so nice to work here because you could just come outside and you like feel like you're in like serenity, like it's really nice. I didn't expect it to be like as vast as it is, like the amount of stuff that they've actually got going on and like the amount of like fabric they produce in like one space. I almost thought everything was gonna be a bit chaotic. I don't quite know why, but it's not it's all, obviously it's all really controlled and Everything's so systematic, but I didn't quite realise how kind of planned out and thought through everything was going to be. What we want them to understand here is the sense in vertical integration, because we have been historically one of the, the least green and least responsible industries through the whole process of globalisation. We've taken every advantage and we haven't um, been responsible about our development. So hopefully they come here and they learn about sustainability on a whole number of levels, not just about environmental sustainability, but they're also going to learn all about social sustainability as well and how you can treat your workers responsibly and how it can make for a very efficient business model. I think, yeah, because we're in a world now where sustainability is such an important factor, I think it's good to have this knowledge that if you're going to a factory, you can, for example, compare it to this and just make sure that you're doing the right thing and ticking all the boxes. Like, I took a picture of that board at the beginning with all the different parts of like sustainability that you can do, so maybe just kind of helping to encourage that. Um, then we have our own eco brick. What we did was we had the sludge from the wastewater treatment plant. They take the ash from it and they make uh, mix it with cement and make bricks. So it's like a closed loop cycle. We create the waste and we buy back the waste in a form that we can use it. Yeah. Do you ever think about how much energy you're burning at Ravensbourne or back in your flat? Do you think if you had a real-time digital board telling you how much you were using up, you would be a, a little bit more conscious about it? Yeah, it just shows you how to like, constantly aware throughout the entire process. When you're aware of it, you, you know what to do yeah. to cut it yeah. down. Yeah, absolutely. I think that, that there's a lot there that they do that we should be applying back home. The conditions that the workers are working in, they just look so controlled and relaxed and the workers didn't look like they were stressed or under pressure and I think that's really nice. And as a buyer, you'd want to source your product from somewhere where the workers are being treated well. Especially when you see like on TV like all these sweatshops with like child labour going on and things like that. It's really nice to see like a factory where people do look like they're enjoying their job. At, in, before I've seen factories that are just so dark and dingy and people in these massive warehouses whereas these are kind of smaller, loads of natural light, people seem really really happy, they seem to have really really good working hours, working ethics, they're fed really well, it's, it seems like it's really really progressing, it's definitely the way to go. These students are coming a long long way, lots of them haven't travelled this far before, probably not even outside Europe before, so it's really really nice to be able to go and see some of the cultural things like the, the elephant sanctuary. We hope that this will give them something really interesting to put on their CVs and that when they go for interview that the person conducting the interview will actually be interested in engaging with that graduate about what they did and why they came here and what they learned from it. 
and it's just such a unique experience and to be able to share that with people that will hopefully end up being a once in a lifetime experience or maybe not, maybe they're even luckier and they get to come back. It's been an absolutely fantastic experience. I think the students have got a lot out of it and we certainly have too. Yeah, yeah it's definitely, definitely useful, it will definitely help me in my future career. <laughs> Also, I think like the sustainability side, like we just learned so much, and obviously we're going to be the buyers of the future, so it's good for us to know that. So when we do go into companies, we can try and push that and save the world. <laughs> <laughs>